Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. This is Tom, and today, today we are going to continue. We're going to continue looking at 2.7 in our textbook by Gilbert Strang, and this time we're going to look at the permutation, permu, the permutation matrix. And for uh, the sake of a place to start, I think if we study the three by three matrix. Um, that would apply, you'll see how that would apply to a 4x4 four four or a 2x2, two two. so let's do that. So we're going to say, um, for the permutation matrix, we're going to use P, P for, permu uh, we should, for permutation matrix. permutation matrix, and we're going to work with P as a 3 by 3. Now, here's how this all begins. The first permutation matrix, P, is actually just I. This all begins with I. So let's write the identity matrix for a 3 by 3. So I have the first row, 1, 0, 0. Second row, 0, 1, 0. And my third row, 0, 0, 1. Now, here's what the permutation matrix does. The permutation matrix, a matrix is moving the rows around in P. So for example, if I take and I switch row two and, and row one, so, I'm put, so now I'm putting row two in the first position and I'm gonna put row one in the second position, this is the permutation matrix of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then let's try some others. Another one would be maybe a P3, 1. That would put the third row of the identity. So that third row is 0, 0, 1. And it would put the first row down on the bottom. So that would be 1, 0, 0. The second row would be unchanged. Let's try the other one that's easy to see is P32. This says put the third row, switch the third and second rows. Okay, so the first row is unchanged. And then the third and second row are going to be swapped. So this is going to be 0, 0, 1, and then uh, 0, 1, 0. Now there's actually, there's actually six of these. We found four. The last two aren't quite so obvious. Let's try this. Let's take P32 and let's multiply that by P21. So, um, well, we can look at what we have. Oh, let's write that out. So that's going to be P32 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And we're going to multiply that. We're going to multiply that by P21, which was uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Well, what does this do? This just says we copy the first row. So that's 0, 1, 0. Then we take the third row and put it into this second row. So the third row is 0, 0, 1. And then it says we copy the second row. Well, the second row is 1, 0, 0. And that gives us a new permutation matrix, P32 times P21. And then, um, all right, our last one, let's, let's just switch the order and see what happens. 2, 1, P, 3, 2. All right, well, let's write those down. P21 is uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then P32 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, well, if I look at the left on uh, being applied row operations on the right, it says that I take the second row of the second matrix and put it into the first row. So that's 0, 0, 1. Then it says whatever the second row is going to be a copy of the first row. That's going to be 1, 0, 0. 
and then it says I'm going to take and pick up whatever the third row is. The third row is 0, 1, 0. And there we have it. There are our six permutation matrices. Now, now it's kind of fun and you, it, how it works, but let's actually apply this to something that we've been working on. For example, suppose I have the matrix um, A. And A is 0, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 0, 8, 9. Now, if I asked you to um, write A equals L U, well, right off the bat, we have a problem. And the problem is, is that the pivot is in the wrong spot. Ideally, the pivot would, they, we would at the second row, would be into the first row. So let's do that. Well, how can we do that using matrices? Well, we need to switch the first and second row. So I'm going to multiply A by P21 times A. So what's that going to give me? That's going to give me 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5, 0, 8, 9. And there we have. Now I can take this and I can write it as U. Well, how would I write that as the U matrix? Well, I would take row 3 and I would subtract uh, 2 times row 2. Well, if I do that, that's the E3, 2 matrix acting on P2, 1 times A. And the result is going to be 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5, uh, 0, a 0, and then let's see, 9 minus 10 is going to be a minus 1. Wow, well, what have we just done? Look at this. This is the matrix of U. We are so close. How can we get there? We get there by multiplying each side by E3, 2, inverse times E3, 2, times P, 2, 1, times A equals E, 3, 2, inverse times U. Well, what is that? The, on the left-hand side, the E's become I, and I just doesn't change P, 2, 1, times A. So on the left-hand side, I have P, 2, 1, times A equals E, 3, 2, inverse. Well, we called the inverses of the row operations, we called those the lower triangular matrix L, U. So that, that is how you could write the, you can utilize the permutations to find the L, U factorization of the matrix.